Hello, my name is James Watson and I'm a researcher at the Stockholm Resilience Centre and I study complex adaptive systems. Now these systems are all around us. They include the financial systems, the human immune system and ecosystems. The three words that comprise their shared name define three really important characteristics. The first is that these systems are all complex. Now that means there are many working parts, all of which are connected in some way. The second characteristic of complex adaptive systems is that they are adaptive, constantly changing. All right? So in an ecosystem, species evolve, or in a financial system, people change their behaviour. The third characteristic is that they are systems. This means they are very broad, operating over a range of scales. So in an ecosystem, individual predators eat individual prey. But at a higher level, populations of predators are interacting with a population of prey. Now these three characteristics lead to three fundamental properties shared by all complex adaptive systems. The first is that they are highly unpredictable. Complex adaptive systems are highly connected. That means the relationship between uh, parts of the system can be very nonlinear. And as a result, it's very hard to say what the state of the system might be sometime in the future. The second property shared by all complex adaptive systems is one of contagion. Again, because complex adaptive systems are very well connected, things within them can spread very quickly. This could be gossip in a social network, this could be uh, the, the disease spreading through a human population. The last property of a complex adaptive system is, is called modularity. Right? And this means although the system overall is well connected, parts of the system are more connected within than between uh, the system. So as an example, this could be my social network where I have my friends at work and my friends that I play football with and I connect the two. Now going hand in hand with this modularity is often redundancy. So my friends at work and my friend at, at soccer do the same thing for me. Now together modularity and redundancy lead to uh, resilience. That's the ability for the system to withstand damage. Okay, so I could alienate my friends at work but I will still have a social network because my friends at soccer are somewhat separate from my friends at work. Now, we're trying to understand complex adaptive systems because if we, we need to do so to, if we are to avoid uh, catastrophes in the future like we experienced in 2008 with a financial crisis or any future pandemics or indeed global climate change. Ultimately, we're working to improve the well-being of humans now and in the future. Thank you for listening.